Hello friends, welcome to my first ever playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I am so excited to be playing this game with you all. This video was originally a stream on my Twitch channel, The Drunken Druid, so if you'd like to come on over there and watch me play it live, I will be playing it on Mondays and Wednesdays at 12 p.m. Pacific unless otherwise noted in my schedule. And please come by the tavern if you'd like a drink and if you want to hang out with me while I'm live. That would be awesome. All right, friends, enjoy the video and please subscribe if you'd like more of my first playthroughs of role-playing games. Bye. Today, we become a vampire. I'm so excited. So as some of you know, thank you Dimension Cutter for letting me know, um, there is licensed music in this game, apparently, which is why a lot of people don't stream it. I was like, oh, whoops, didn't know that. So I removed all of the music, I think. I literally just deleted the audio files from the game. Um, and I have my own music in the background from a lovely person called Ivan Dutch. It's in the title here to give some credit. Um, and it should be copyright free, and um, he just required that I put uh, an attribution to him, so I'm gonna have a track running in the back that I mixed from his free songs um, to try to capture the ambiance of like vampiric things. Hopefully that's okay. It won't be the original music, unfortunately, because I don't want to get my videos taken down or things like that or copyright strikes. Um, so just so you know, that is different from the original. I am going to be playing the GOG version, which already has the patch installed. Um, so I, that technically is like, a, it's not really a mod, but it's like the patch to make sure that the game can run because <laughs> otherwise it just like does not run. Um, and so yeah, there you go. But yeah, we're playing the good old games version with the patch, not the plus patch, <laughs> the original patch, whatever it's called. Um, and music removed just in case and my own music in the background from Ivan. So that's what we're doing. No other mods. I'm not looking anything up about the game specifically, but I did do some research and lore learning about the different clans and just the world a little bit because I wanted to have a little bit of a sense of like what is going on with it. I really don't know much about mechanics yet. F9 is quick save? That's good, because that's usually quick load, so... Okay, we're in! I... I didn't finish the clan quiz. I literally, like, have it on my phone, like, almost done. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it for myself, and I'll post it on the Discord when I'm done. For this, I figured I don't want to do it based on me, so... Let's just pick something that we think would be fun. I'm between Bruja and Toreador. Oh, Gangrel, that's the like druid one, right? Oh no. Yes, the beast within. The shapeshifters. Malkavian, these are the people who are known as the lunatics, who have the voices inside their heads. Okay, there we go, now you can see it. So, Bruja are passionate idealists and rebels, more likely to fight for their rights than write protest songs. In life, most Bruja sought social change, and in undeath, most clan members commonly seek the creation of a vampiric utopia. As militant radicals, they are renowned for their combat skills, but are also more likely to frenzy due to their hot-bloodedness, so to speak. They receive a plus one to their unarmed feet, but are penalized with minus two to all frenzy checks due to their zealous natures. Gang girl. There's a cricket chirping, but that's about it. I know, and that's my background music <laughs> that I put in. Gangrel are wild loners that are the most in tune with the beast within, allowing them to shapeshift into more beastly forms. Nomadic in nature, Gangrel care little about vampire politics and prefer to dwell and hunt on the outskirts of society. Because of their animalistic nature, they receive a plus five to strength, stamina, and wits during frenzy. However, because of their inherent feral nature, Gangrel receive a minus one on all frenzy checks. Malkavian. Malk, off-brand milk. Oh my gosh. Malkavians are known as lunatics because of their ability to hear voices of insight and subject others to their insanity through their discipline, dementation. The world appears much different to the Malkavian than it does to the sane clans, though the extent of a Malkavian's madness depends on the individual. 
a blessing and a curse. A Malkavian's insanity will help or hinder them, depending on how much they struggle against their nature. Malkavians start with a plus two bonus to inspection. Nosferatu! Oh, hey! Hideous, skulking, and powerful. Even in a world of monsters, the Nosferatu stand out. They embrace twists and deforms their physical features, forcing them to seek sanctuary underground. Nosferatu are masters of the shadows. Due to their curse, Nosferatu have a seduction of zero and can never raise it higher, and they hide their existence from common humans. Having shared the darkness with vermin for so long, vampires of clan Nosferatu are able to draw extra nourishment from rats. Ha ha ha. Seduction of zero, where's the fun in that? It's true. Toreador. This is the one I'm leaning towards because I think it would be fun. Oh my gosh, look at her. <laughs> She's an artiste. Toreador picture themselves as artistes and visionaries, and they value the high society mentality that the Camarilla reinforces. Of all clans, Toreador are the most connected to the mortal world through arts and entertainment. Toreador are beautiful creatures, svelte and seductive, and move almost effortlessly through the society of the living. The Toreador's empathy is both, both a gift and a burden. All humanity's shifts are doubled. Oh. Tremere. Blood sorcerers born from mystic rituals and diablerie, the Tremere are the least trusted of the Camarilla clans. The ritual the Tremere used to transform from living mages into undying monsters stripped them of their magic arts. To compensate, the vampires of Clan Tremere developed thaumaturgy, the powerful discipline of blood magic. The clan guards its secrets jealously and are only the only kindred to wield this powerful discipline. The pursuit of arcane knowledge comes before all else, and the reliance upon it has weakened the bloodline. Tremere can raise no physical attribute above four points. And finally, Ventru. Truly the upper echelons of society, the Ventru are seen as the honorable and virtuous leaders of the Camarilla. They wholeheartedly support the masquerade, influencing the mortal and undead worlds to help them maintain the masquerade as well as garner support for themselves. Clan Ventru is an exclusive and powerful gathering of immortals, and even the lowliest initiate of Clan Ventru can expect special treatment in kindred society. This regal bloodline, however, gains no nourishment from the lowborn and thin-blooded. Ventru gain no blood from feeding on animals. Feeding on low-life humans, prostitutes, and the homeless can cause the Ventru to vomit. Oh my gosh. Okay, who do we choose? Oh my gosh. Also, the blood mages sound cool, but Toreador, just look at her. I'm sorry. Nosferatu, that's what you got in the quiz, Moonlit. That's right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Artistes. Like, I'm just imagining, like, so I'm pretty sure we play as, like, a new vampire in this. I'm guessing, because it's called Bloodlines. I don't know. Like, it seems like that's what we would do, right? But I'm just imagining that she know she's, like, a, I don't know, like, a singer. She, like, really wants to be a singer-songwriter. She's from a small town, and, you know... I can't quite do a southern accent. Maybe I shouldn't do that. She's she's from a small town. Maybe Arizona. Maybe middle California. <laughs> and she's wanting to go to the big city. Make, make it big in her career. You know. Taylor Swift vampire origin story. Indeed. <laughs> Claire DeLune. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, is that a Twilight reference? Doing great, crazy bald man, how are you? Oh my gosh. Amazing. Okay, we're going to be a Toreador. Next. Our sheet, okay. Oh, okay, we get, how, okay. How do I... Oh! Oh, I see. Physical, we don't get any. I see. Okay, so we get two social, one mental. We get three talents, one skill, two knowledge, and one discipline. Okay, we obviously need charisma. 
Wait, what's manipulation in appearance, though? Let's read through these. Hang on. Charisma. Enchanting or beguiling, the Toreador can play the social webs like a divine harpist. Charisma measures your character's ability to sway others through personality. Charisma is an important part of the persuasion feat. I see. Aha! So if we increase our charisma over here on the right side, our persuasion goes up. Okay. Manipulation. Measures your character's ability to exploit people and events. Manipulation is necessary for the haggle feat. Mm. And appearance. Indicates the physical attractiveness of your character. Appearance, appearance is the foundation of the seduction feat. <gasps> seduction. Measures your character's ability to titillate others into helping you. The appearance attribute and the subterfuge ability both contribute to the seduction feat. Oh, righty, righty, righty. Okay, okay. We've got combat, covert, mental, and soak. Soak. Nice. Gotta also make sure not to forget to the name unless you want to be Malk. Oh my gosh! Wait, I kind of love Malk. <laughs> it's her stage name. Okay. Gosh. Okay, soak is like HP and armor. Okay, got it. Bashing, your ability to shrug off damage from bullets and blunt melee weapons. Stamina, as well as clothing and body armor, contribute to bashing soak. Oh, I see. Lethal. Ability to shrug off damage from bladed melee weapons. While vampires may defend against lethal damage with their defense feet, they're nearly helpless once the blow is landed. Clothing and body armor add to your lethal soak feet. Aggravated. Your ability to shrug off damage from claws, fangs, fire, and electricity. Ooh. Oh, interesting. Time to get soaked! <laughs> okay, let's read through our mental attributes here. Perception. Measures your character's awareness of their surroundings. Perception is necessary for the ranged combat and inspection feats. Intelligence. Indicates your character's ability to learn, think, and remember. Intelligence is essential for their research and intimidate feats. Wits. Measures your sharpness of your character's mind and ability to think on their feet. Wits improve defense and hacking feats. Oh! Okay, okay. We gotta be good at appearance and charisma. In terms of... I'm doing this all based on like who I feel like she is. I'm not doing it based on any sort of strategy. <laughs> but I feel like she's gotta be perceptive of others. Well... What do you think on their feet? Learn, think, and remember. Yeah, awareness of their surroundings. I feel like that's more her. Like, she's gotta be street smart, you know? She's street smart. She knows people. That's kind of what we're going for. She's an artist. She is a bard. It's true! She's the bard! She's a vampire bard. <gasps> she will entertain the masses in the dead of night. Forevermore. Okay. Let's see. Brawl. The ability to fight barehanded. Unarmed combat feet. And makes it easier to feed on the unwilling. Oh my gosh, dimension! <laughs> Dodge. Determines your character's ability to avoid taking damage in all forms of combat. Dodge increases the defense speed. That seems good. I'm gonna take that. Intimidation. Measures your character's ability to instill fear and force cooperation in others. Intimidation naturally increases your intimidate feet. I feel like she's not going to be very intimidating. Subterfuge. Measures your character's ability to conceal their motives and deceive others. Subterfuge is needed for the feat of seduction. She's going to be good at that. That's for sure. Maybe I should get Brawl just to like have some... Uh... No, we can do firearms. Although being able to feed seems good. Let's do brawl, let's do brawl. Gotta just spread it out a little bit at first and then we can specialize as we level up. Okay, firearms. Determines how well your character aims and causes damage with guns of all types. Firearms is an indispensable part of the ranged combat feat. Melee. Your character's ability to fight in close combat with handheld weapons such as knives and swords. Melee increases your melee feat. 
Ooh, we could be kind of like a thief type. We're like, you know, we're, we've got our knives and we're kind of dodging and stuff. You can see that. Security. Displays your character's knowledge of how locks and security systems work. Security is needed for lockpicking feet. Stealth. Measures your character's ability to move silently and avoid being detected. Stealth is a crucial component of the sneaking feat. Oh. Security seems good, but I feel like we should maybe specialize in some sort of weapon. Okay. Probably firearms at this point based on where I think we're going with this character. Oops. But we can always change that as we go. Your beer for the day! Cognitive indis indifference towards something more fulfilling! West Coast IPA. Ooh, that sounds good, bald man! Mm. Oh, interesting, Loof. Interesting! Got a max seduction, am I right? We're at a three currently, but we'll get there. <laughs> okay, knowledges. Computer. Indicates your character's ability to operate computers and other devices. Computer knowledge is needed for the hacking feat. Finance? Your character's ability to evaluate market value of items? Oh, for haggling. Eh, I don't really care about that. Maybe I'll care later, but... Investigation! Measures your character's ability to notice minute or hidden details. Investigation will increase your inspection feat. Hmm. Scholarship. Your character's ability to gather information, debate, and learn new skills. Scholarship will increase your research and persuasion feats. I feel like probably investigation or scholarship. Oh, we can do both. Perfect. Okay, now we get to choose a discipline. Auspects, celerity, and presence. Auspects. Enhances your mental faculties and allows you to perceive the auras of those around you, as well as see better in darkness. All levels of Auspex cost one blood per activation. Auspex carries no risk of violating the masquerade. Hmm. Oh, level two adds one point to wits and one point to perception. Reveals the auras of all living and undead within a modest distance. Last 24 seconds per activation. Oh, I see. You have to use some sort of blood. Maybe that's like powering some of our powers, I suppose. Got it. So it's a, like a, it's not just like a passive thing. Computers are, <laughs> those are very 2004. <laughs> Amazing. Sounds good, Eric. No worries. Oh, in the shadows. I see what you did there. Take care, Eric. You're amazing. Firearms is good to have in Toreador. Okay. That's good to know. Good. Okay. As Toreador. Got it. Got it. Got it. Thank you. These powers you have to feed. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Celerity. Powerful. Oh. Here we go. Celerity. Vampiric preternatural speed. The world will seem to slow while you remain unaffected. All but the first level of celerity are obvious supernatural acts, and using them in safe areas is considered a violation of the masquerade. Okay. Presence. The dread presence of the vampire can strike mortal fear into the hearts of their opponents. Reduces enemies' effectiveness in combat. All levels of presence cost one blood per activation. Presence carries no risk of violating a masquerade. Hmm... Oh yes, and the masquerade, for those of you who don't know, is it's like kind of this like pact or law set down by the vampire political structure, the Camarilla, I believe, ins instigated the masquerade or like introduced the masquerade, which is basically we as vampires need to hide our presence from mortals to protect ourselves. Um, I think it's the basics of it. There's a lot more complexity to it in the lore, which I would encourage you to dig into because it's really interesting. And this is kind of um, the world of darkness is like a, it's kind of parallel to our own universe. Like it, it relies heavily on real history and it's kind of like a reimagining of our world where vampires live among us. So like vampires like trace back to famous people of history and things like that. Like some of the lines started with like, I don't know, like people in ancient Egypt or like, what was it? Um, some people believed, believed that the first vampire was, was um, Cain from like the Bible. Carmilla is the lesbian vampire queen. Hi. Hi. 
Sneaking and influencing people, I love it. The Camarilla is like the vampire... Like, like... Like, church, almost. Not really church, but like, they're the governing body of like, all vampires. The Camarilla. And it is from, like, it is like, Italian sounding, right? It's kind of like the Ven the Venturi in <laughs> Twilight, is that what they're called? <laughs> Gotta bring it back to Twilight, you know? Because <sighs> there's a lot more mortals than vampires out there, exactly. Exactly, Lego. <laughs> okay. Also, please, if you are experienced in Vampire the Masquerade, feel free to add more, um, more knowledge in the chat that isn't spoiling this game, but like lore and stuff like that, that I don't, I don't have the, the background to actually give. Okay, I'm thinking probably presents. Oh, this, I'm not really sure what auras means yet, but that seems kind of useful. Okay, so, oh, I forgot to read what level two presence does. Larger radius, victims suffer 10% chance to be mesmerized and a negative two penalty to strength, wits, and perception and a reduced rate of attack. Oh, that seems good. If we're in a tough battle, I feel like that'll be really helpful. <laughs> okay, so here we are. <sighs> Unarmed two, melee one, ranged three, defense two. I feel like that's respectable for now. Covert, lockpicking, and sneaking and hacking are all one. That's okay. Inspection is three and research is two. Mental, haggle and intimidate are one. Persuasion and seduction are three. Soak, bashing one, lethal zero, aggravated zero. It's not great, is it? Reveals location of people. Oh, yes. Yep, I think you're probably right. It's like wizard eye and might and magic, anyone? Except. <gasps> Wait, we're going in! This is it! The embrace, the act of transforming a mortal into a vampire. <gasps> Ooh! It's getting sexy up in here right away. I want to show you something. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <gasps> we got turned while doing the nasty four times. <laughs> also, we can't customize our face. That's okay, we look great. Where am I? Oh! What is happening? <laughs> Good evening. My fellow kindred, my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siring. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. <gasps> it pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But the as drama. some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Oh, that's intense.
which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! Drama, you guys. If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Wow, what a start. What a journey we've been on so far. Love, it's like an abandoned theater. <laughs> Look at this girl! Who are you? Oh my gosh! Your sire. Tragic. My apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must... must... adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone, breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my- I just realized we didn't rename her! <laughs> Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So, what I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Thank Prove you. it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. This is really bad. This is really, really bad. Poor Malk. <laughs> what is Malk gonna do, you guys? <laughs> Item gained! Hands! <laughs> oh, I love this game already. <laughs> I love it. Okay, wait, where's my quest log? Q does not work. J? Nope. L? Nope. Yes. O M G. We gotta look at look at her! She looks great! Malk! <laughs> I love her! Legion, hi! How are you? Oh, <laughs> Oh man. <clears throat> Sorry to seduction when your victim asks you to whisper your name into their ear. Hulk the Great. <laughs> the animation! The animation is so good. I love it. Malk it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. I VT hi! It's gonna be that kind of game. <laughs> I feel like I, I really get what kind of game we're getting ourselves into now, and it's it's amazing. Huh. Quest log. Okay, I guess I don't have any quests. But I have hands! <laughs> I need to save. Special tutorial? Okay. Oh my gosh, I love this. Vampire the Malk Square. <laughs> Your blood. <laughs> Hello. What a scene, man. Woo wee. <laughs> then they just plop you out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Uh, look, you know, it's probably a lot for you to take in. So uh, why don't you let me show you the ropes? What do you say? Oh my God, I love you. Oh, you were the guy smoking the cigar in the back, weren't you? Who are you anyway? I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your hide and we'll trade life stories, okay? Till then, I got about this much time. You in or out? Hmm. What happened in there? Don't worry, kiddo. You'll adjust. I'd love to explain it all, but time's wasted. You want some help or what? Okay. I guess I could use the help. Jack. 
All right. Uh, why don't we, uh, step out back here? His eyebrow is doing things. <laughs> yeah, let's get away from that horrible place. Yeah, his voice. Nice stuff in there, huh? This is much better. Now, we ain't got much time, but I figure somebody should fill you in on the bare bones stuff at least. Yes. Could save your hide. I need. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? I need a tutorial. Thank you. John DiMaggio? Wait, who is that? Why does that sound familiar? Who is he? I love- the voice acting is incredible. I'm- I'm impressed. So far, I'm impressed by this, like, the movement and the voice acting is actually really good. We even had a drink yet? Oh, would we even be aware that we're a vampire? Like, we probably are catching- picking up on something. But we literally just woke up and were dragged in there immediately. Bender? Okay, yeah, I don't know who that is. Bender from Futurama. I haven't watched that! I'm not very cultured. Uh, no. Oh, man, we're popping a cherry here! Ha ha ha! Oh, you're gonna love this. All right, check it out. Blood? It's your new rack of lamb. Your new champagne. Blood, your new fucking heroin, kid. <laughs> Get ready, though, because, hey, it's never as sweet as the first time. Oh, my gosh. I love this guy. <laughs> well, down around the corner there, I saw this human. Poor SOB can't find his car. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You go down there casually, like, you creep up on him. The bear those little fangs and feet. <laughs> Don't worry if you weren't captain of the wrestling team or something. Because it'll come so naturally you think you've done it a thousand times already. Oh, sorry. I forgot to read that last line. <sighs> Won't he become a vampire then? <laughs> Forget that comic book crap, kid. <laughs> it don't work that way. Okay. Now go for it. Be sure, though. And this is important, so listen up. Be sure not to drain him dry. Okay? It might be hard to resist, but don't kill him. All right, I'll try my best. Ooh, okay. This thing on the right, I'm guessing, is our blood pool, because it looks like blood. This is your- oh, there's an arrow. Thank you. It just, like, blended in. This is your blood pool. Blood is the fuel for your vampiric powers or disciplines. When your blood pool is low, you need to refill it. Humans are an abundant source of blood in most areas of the game. One is in the alley around the corner. OMG! Very well-known voice actor, amazing! <gasps> Jake from Adventure Time? Oh! Hi, Dr. Fat, how are you? Ivory, hi! Remember that line of the first playthrough? Oh my gosh! <laughs> how you doing, Ivory? Welcome into the tavern! Sounds well, Lego! I hope you sleep well, thanks for chilling with us, this is nice. Nice to have you here. Senbar! Oh my gosh! Hi! How are you? Welcome into the tavern. Oh, I forgot to post now that we're about to have our first meal. I think... Okay, there we go. I have content warnings. I don't know much about this game, but it is a vampire game, my friends. If you don't know that already. And you just popped in. We're playing Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. We're about to suck somebody's blood. If that's not your thing. I just wanted to let you know that that's what this game is about. There's lots of violence, I'm sure. Guns, vampire blood stuff. So just keep yourself safe, okay? You may or may not run into Daphne from Scooby-Doo. Oh man. <sighs> okay, blood pool. We need blood for our vampiric powers or disciplines. So we gotta feed on people. You were right, Moonlit. Huh? hey. Hey, buddy. I love this guy. Uh, okay, the controls are a bit interesting. Feeding on humans fills your blood pool. To feed, approach your victim and press the feed key. Default F. Oh, perfect. When you are close. It is important that humans do not see you feed on other humans. Once you've begun feeding on your victim, you will see this bar appear. Oh, I see. 
This represents your victim's blood pool. You should stop feeding before emptying his blood pool and killing him. Press F again to stop feeding. Okay, that's simple. Okay, there are no, nobody else around, right? That's convenient. All right, hi. Yeah. Ah! Oh my gosh! We just pounce like a the animal. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was wild. <clears throat> oh. Never got the metric ton expression? Why is stress the metric? Apart from most of the world not using Imperial anyway. Imperial tons are even slightly heavier than metric tons, really? Oh, lunchtime, boys! That sounds good. Oh, you had to run and grab lunch. Oh, you're back. Hi, welcome back. We are a Toreador, and I completely forgot to change her name. So her name is Malk. Because that was the default name. So, um, here she is. Malk. <laughs> Toreador. I love her. Hi, Bandit. How are you doing? What is the vampire's favorite day of the month when the girls are other- Oh my gosh. I can't read that out loud. <laughs> Bandit bonk. <laughs> oh gosh. <clears throat> Sometimes you need a strange name to stand out in LA. It's true. It's true. It's gonna freak them. I am- <laughs> I know, it's like Malkavian, right? It's like the first part of Malkavian. What the heck, right? Okay, we did it. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Hell yeah, you're feeling Hell it. yeah. I can see it in your eyes. You're a born-again predator. Feeling that blood bubbling inside you, lifting you up. That's it, kid. That's what it's all about right there. Ha! <laughs> Great. When do I get my cape? Do I get to pick the color? All right, now. You got the blood, you're feeling all kick-ass, feeling better than your best day living, but wait, it gets better. All kindred, kindred, that's a our word for vampire, all kindred have a few things in common. Things that set them right square above humans on the food chain. Hmm. Okay, so kindred is our word for vampire. Yeah, like what? Like sharper senses, a body that can take a mm. beating, and if you play your cards right, eternal life. That's no sure bet, but still, a chance at immortality is not a bad deal. And that's just for starters. Fringe benefits for joining the club. That doesn't sound so bad at all. Am I going to live forever? Well, you can still be destroyed, but forget the books and the movies. Garlic? It's worthless. A cross? Pfft. Shove it right up their ass. <laughs> a steak? Only if it catches you in the heart, and then it just paralyzes you. Running water? Eh, that's no problem. I bathe. Occasionally. <laughs> shotgun blast to the head. Oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire? That's real trouble. Sunlight? Well, you catch a sunrise and it's all over, kiddo. Get it? I think I got it. Okay, now. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Um... Okay, you you do that. I'm just gonna go in here. Okay, bye. At the bottom of your screen is the use icon. Oh, I see. Okay, the door. This icon appears when you are able to use the object in front of you. Press the use key, default E, to use the object that it indicates. The use icon is context sensitive. That is, it will look different depending on the object you can use. In this case, a door that can be opened. Aha! We are in! Okay, close it. Ooh. Doesn't sound good out there, does it? <laughs> Do not be. <laughs> this guy is so funny. I love him. Jack? Kindred don't like the V word. Okay. Do you know how a vampire makes tea? How? Malk is my stage name. 
You'll never know my real name. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, unnamed? I swear I didn't write Malk, did I? What? How did how did do Malk? <laughs> Is it because I was clicked cl I clicked through the different clans? Weird. I thought that you all were joking in the chat first about Malk, but then I was like, oh, it says that in my game. What is going on? Mimicking sunlight? Oh my gosh, it's like in Hocus Pocus when they put the headlights on to mimic the sunrise and the witches freak out. It's like that. Spraying Lego? Power UV lamps, oh no! Oh my gosh, Senpai! <laughs> so gross! <laughs> oh, bonk you all. <laughs> bonk. Oh man. Okay, okay. Um, Back to the game. <laughs> no more tampons. Press the jump key, default space, to jump. Jump onto the boxes against the wall and up to the walkway above. Sammy, welcome in! Okay. Oh, I love that we can. I love a game where I can jump. Oh my gosh, it's a little out of control though. It's a little out of control, I must say. Gotta get my bearings here. Huh? 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 Ah! It's very sensitive. Hello? Hello? Aha! Oh! Whoa! Okay, we made it! <laughs> your feats are the combinations of your various abilities and attributes. The higher your feat scores, the better you are at the activities they influence. Inspection is a feat! Aha! It is a combination of perception and investigation. It allows you to see hidden and secret things. For example, the lockpick on the crate in front of you. You can find your feats listed on the right-hand side of your character sheet. You can pick up certain objects in the world. If you're able to pick up an object, you will see a use icon appear for it when you are close enough and the crosshairs in the center of your screen are over it. Press the use key, E, to pick up the lockpick. Okay. What do I see? Oh! Oh, I just clicked I and this popped up. No keys. Wallet, your cash, zero. Your wallet is empty, baby. You're so broke you can't even afford to pay attention. <laughs> Oh, oh, I love this game. I love it. Fists! No weapon readied. Okay. No firearm. Clothing. This is the most basic and unrestricted clothing. Examples would be t-shirts, khakis, sundresses, and pleated skirts. Oh my gosh, can we get new outfits too? Exit. Oh, here's my... Okay, here's my feats if anyone wanted to see those. I also wanted to check. Oh yeah, inspection is three because we have perception and investigation. Cool. Okay. So we're perceptive and we're seductive. Here's the lockpick. E. Item gained. Lockpick. Amazing. Gotta be milk noise instead of a bunk. Okay, bye Lego. I hope you sleep well. Bunks for everyone. Sammy, I hope you're doing well. Uh... So broke, we can't even buy Malk. <laughs> okay, oh, every time I see, isn't Malk like the name for like non-dairy milks? <laughs> I swear there's like a, there's a brand that's literally called Malk in the shops. And every time I see it, I'm gonna think of our dear Malk the vampire. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, it's from the Simpsons? Just can't show feet on Twitch. <laughs> oh my gosh. Amazing. That's why you made the off-brand milk joke? Oh my gosh. Wait, it originated in The Simpsons? I didn't even know that. Come down here. 
stay away from the windows. Oh, it's a Sabat raid. Oh, <gasps> Sabat. They're uh, oh, Christ, I was hoping to spare you this shit till later. Uh, <clears throat> the Sabat. Well, uh, they're mostly mindless, bloodthirsty assholes. That's all you need to know for now. All right. I feel like you're holding back information, Jack. I feel like he sounds like someone from Mass Effect, and I can't quite put my finger on it. It was from The Simpsons, but apparently there actually is an almond milk brand called Malk. <laughs> oh, humanity. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, I need to watch The Simpsons, apparently. He does sound a bit like Grunt or Rex. He's got a little bit of that vibe. So, what's up? The Sabat got wind of the gathering here, so they figured they'd raise a little hell and put a little heat on the new prince. Oh, new prince, okay. What's the prince a prince of? No time for political rundown. Job one, get out of here alive. Fine. Sabat might be mindless, but they hit like a Mack truck, like raging savages. Nothing a fledgling like he wants to mess with. What am I supposed to do? Shh, shh. Heads up. Back away. Oh, are these the... Oh. Oh, he was in the place earlier. Hi, that's loud. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah! <gasps> Wolves! Nice. Oh, gangrels, right? Whoa. Hi! We're so creepy, it's like... Dumb, frenzied, sabot bastards. All right, we gotta have a moose out the back quick. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. I'm on it. To access your quest log, press the quest log key L. Okay, we found that already. The quest log contains information about your quests, as well as many notes and instructions you will need to complete them. Jack and from Mass Effect? Oh my gosh. Malk is imposing. Malk the best out of the situation. Oh my gosh. Wasn't anyone in Mass Effect? Okay, okay. Dang. Okay. Jai Had for Beginners, a vicious vampire faction known as the Sabat has launched an assault on the secret Camarilla gathering downtown. You and Jack are caught in the middle. To escape, you must obtain entry into the office. Okay, let's go. You can fail quests. Look at this. Completed, failed. It's not good. It doesn't bode well for me, does it? Okay, when a door is locked, you will use this. You will see this use icon. Okay, a lock. Lock picking, a combination of dexterity and security, is a feat that helps you open locked doors with a lockpick. When you see this icon, press the use key to un- Oh! You try the lockpick it! Oh! Excuse me! Goodness. Once you've begun lockpicking, you will see this bar. It represents the time needed to pick the lock. If the value of your lockpicking feat is equal to or greater than the difficulty of the lock, you will be able to pick it. Hello. Oh, do I need to click on the lock? Oh! Oh, there we go. Look at my nail. Nice. Okay, now I'm suddenly in third person. Okay, so clicking, left-clicking attacks. Oh my gosh, it sounds kind of like the Morrowind sound effects. Oh, I love it. Anything here? Ooh. <gasps> oh, you can... Uh, shortcut. Well, what? Actually done, though. Not exactly an angel in life, were you? Shortcut? Oh, are we not supposed to... We weren't supposed to lockpick our way in? Oops. <laughs> Rampant gunfire in the streets. Malk. Yes! <laughs> Poor doors! <laughs> Same era as Morrowind, yeah! Yep, 
Yes, John DiMaggio! Not like Half-Life in there. I haven't, I also haven't played that. Hi, Hungriest Clone! I know how to handle myself, Jack. Cool. Now, if you want to cool. listen to how really not to act, take notes from those sabbat assholes. You're a big bad vampire. Yeah, great, congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go roar and you beat your chest and that's what you can expect. Hmm. List of people. Oh, wait, I still got that list of people from high school. Why not? It's the same reason you don't let humans see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento. And it's, and it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. Hmm. Okay, I get it. Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck-ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a legend like you. What do you mean? What could happen? That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Magilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. Oof. They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. Camarilla? So they're like the vampire good guys? Mm, yeah. I'll tell you what I think some other time, maybe. I like to let people form their own opinions. Alright, so what's next? Alright, now don't worry, because I know the area. You know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. Mm. You gotta utilize your surroundings. Okay, but what does that mean exactly? Give me some deets, Jack. You do what you gotta do. Theft, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sins before the night's out. So look around here. You gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door. There must be a key someplace. I'll find it. Area indicator. The icon to the left indicates that you're in a combat area. Oh, I see. There's a gun. Okay. Combat, anything goes. Masquerade, respect the masquerade. Elysium, vampire neutral ground. No combat or disciplines are allowed except blood buff while lockpicking. What's blood buff? Woo! I guess I'll find out. Woo! -hoo. Camarilla, Magarilla. <laughs> it's been good, Sammy! Yes, things are really good. How are you? Gotta be a common royalty-free sounds library for effects, yeah. Okay, okay, so when there's the mask on there, it means pretend that I'm a human. <laughs> okay, interesting. In masquerade areas, breaking the masquerade can carry dire consequences, such as unwanted attention of vampire hunters. After five masquerade violations, your game is over. Your current number of violations is displayed in the upper right corner of your character sheet. Oh... When you can use a computer, you will see this use icon. Computers are often helpful in solving quests. They can hold information like emails and files, as well as control various electronic devices. Each computer will have a list of the menus and commands you can use. Many menus and commands will be password protected. Hacking, a combination of wits and computer, is a feat that allows you to hack into password protected items. You will be prompted to press Control c to attempt your hacking feat. If the value of your hacking feed is equal to or greater than the difficulty of the encryption, you will be successful. To stop using a computer, type quit or use the escape key. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at this! Welcome Jack! Oh! You're doing well, Sammy! Yay! Okay, I'm glad that you've been feeling better. Oh, big hugs. I hope that things continue to look up for you. Thanks for being here and sharing with, with all of us. I appreciate you, Sammy. Okay, safe. Password required. Oh, this is fun! You get to actually type. A password is required to enter this subdirectory. Skill too low. Bummer. Okay, what if we found the password though? 
amongst the notes. When you can read a note, you will see this use icon. Readable notes can be various items like clipboards, newspapers, and letters. To read the note, press the use key. To return to the game after reading the note, press it again. Chop shop! See? The password is written down! I knew it! Password accepted. Okay, safe menu. Unlock. Safe door's unlocked. That's what I like. When you approach a container, you will see this use icon. Press the use key, open it. Okay, we know this already. If it's locked, try your lock pick. Once opened, your inventory appears on the left side of the screen and the container's contents are on the right. Select items with any mouse button. Chop shop key! Key to the stairwell at the back of the chop shop. <laughs> Thank you! There we go. Now take that key card and head out the back. I'll meet you out in the alley there. I'm gonna check out things from topside. Got it. Okay. I accesses your inventory. Click on the left and right arrow buttons above your inventory list with any mouse buttons to access different inventory categories. Okay, we got a key ring. Most keys once used will not be needed again and are removed. Some doors have magnetic locks and cannot be picked open. They must be opened with the appropriate key card. Okay. We need a weapon. Die, my darling. Okay. Creepy. Takeout menu. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this, like, weird. What? Some of this is just so funny to me. Okay, I should probably save. Leaves her password written down near by the computer, right? <laughs> Yellow legal notepad taped to the wall is the most secure place for your password. Who needs a password manager? Aw, Sammy! I'm so glad you're here. Early 2000s, nobody knew about computer security yet. No digital password managers where you could get your password stolen all at once. <laughs> True. Oh, I've never seen this. I just rip it off and bin it. <laughs> okay, F9. Game saved. Whew. I'm going to be doing that a lot. Thank you, Dimension. Hey! Can we romance Jack? Oh! That was so cool. You've been wounded! <gasps> this blue bar represents your current level of health. As you sustain regular damage, it will turn black. If your health is completely depleted, you suffer final death and your game is over. Your health regenerates over time. When you're feeding, your health regenerates much faster. If your health bar begins to turn yellow, it means you've sustained aggravated damage. Certain hazards like fire and supernatural attacks cause aggravated damage. This takes much longer to heal than regular damage. <laughs> Nobody knew about computer security that yet. Glares at the camera and their attempt to hack the NSA. <gasps> Lou is health not red? Apparently! The textures are broken. What is going on here? I'm sure there are mods. Are there mods that fix that, Luffy? I'm sure there are. Ooh, a couch! It's at Arya's couch. <laughs> Her long lost couch. <laughs> Jack, that was impressive. Fucking waste of unlife, these sabat vatos. You get winged? Hey, hey, look at them potholes. Also close up soon enough. Better feed, though. <laughs> There's someone down the stairs here. It's not the freshest catch, but he'll do. What's the difference? Blood's blood, right? Well, when it comes to feeding, it's quality blood you're looking for, not the quantity. Mm. Bums and lowlife don't pack the same punch that a healthy, well-bred human will. Juice bags with a pedigree. That's the good stuff. What you got to <laughs> get. You ever had a PhD, kid? Ooh, that's good stuff. Ooh, that's good stuff. <laughs> that's amazing. You ever had a PhD, kid? 
Maybe the latest version of Patch now! Red is only blood, so that would get confusing. That's true. Feelings for Jack caught you like a stake through the heart. <laughs> oh my gosh, Moonlit. If you say so. Remember what I said, though. Don't kill them. Fine. He's not the innocent ones. You're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity you have. I would never kill someone. Gosh. Let's say I get a little overzealous and I can't control myself or something. What happens then? An innocent's an innocent. You kill one, even a worthless bum, even by accident, and it's going to cost you a piece of your own humanity. Bring you closer to that beast you got welling up inside you. The beast? What exactly does that mean? The beast? It's always there. Waiting to take over. When it does, it's like a wild animal wearing your skin. Desperate, scared, reckless. He'll do anything to survive, and it's you that has to deal with the consequences. So I can't kill anyone. That seems a little, uh, restricting, given that I'm a vampire now. I, I, I said innocent humans. If some asshole levels a 12 gauge your way, you drain him. Skin him and bash in his skull. Self-preservation is a vital part of humanity, after all. My favorite part, in fact. <laughs> I think I follow. The only way to fight the beast is to keep in touch with your humanity. And don't go hungry. Mm. It's a fine line. Okay, got it. All right, now go feed. Careful, though. He's gonna drain fast. <gasps> oh, do people drain at different speeds? Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, Dimension Cutter! <laughs> Fast forward a few hours. <laughs> okay, I'll be back in a minute. Remember, you want to avoid draining your victims. Draining innocent humans will give you a penalty to your humanity. Oh yeah, and we're Toreador, so it doubles penalties to humanity. And bonuses? I don't know how that works. The lower you, your humanity, the closer you get to the beast. If your humanity gets too low, you will begin to lose control of your character. This is known as frenzying and may result in a masquerade violation if you're around humans. Oh my gosh! Oh, I feel bad. Hello. Thanks, buddy. Sorry. Not quite as good, huh? Yeah, you can do worse. There's some rats down the way. You think I'm kidding? You can survive feeding on animals. Stomach that kind of thing. Ugh. I think I've got some threads between my teeth. Well, give it a try. I'll think about it. Rats can be fed upon to gain a single blood point. You will find some rats at the other end of the alley, near the yellow windows. Killing rats has no impact on your humanity score. Humans do not react well when they see live rats being sucked on. <laughs> I'm fine, I think. Mm. <gasps> Lady Valkyrie, you love this game! Oh my gosh! Welcome in! How you doing? Just taking bets right, will break all five masquerade rules. Hey, 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 hey! Hello, little rats. Okay, that was horrible. I hated that with every bone in my body. Oh, whoops. I actually clicked F. <laughs> you rat sucker. <laughs> hey, I don't care what you do, but just so you know, polite vampire society looks down on that. You guy. tricked me. <laughs> I'm going to be sassy. <laughs> they can be polite and pass me the salt for my rat. Keep it down. Got someone around the way here. Just one guy? Not too much of a threat by himself, but you never know if there's more in shouting range. You're gonna have to sneak past. Sneak where? The building across from us with the garage door. There's some double doors on the far side. I'll meet you inside. Just stay low and stick to the shadows. And don't let him see you. I'll do my best. See you in a minute. All right, go. <sighs> Getting tired of these games. Sneaking, a combination of dexterity and stealth, is a feat that allows you to move among your victims and enemies without being detected. You must be crouched to sneak. 
You can crouch by pressing the crouch key. Control. Oh gosh. Sorry, one sec everybody. I'll be right back. I'm back. Oh yeah, Venture can't drink from rats. That's so funny. <laughs> Malk and rats slightly obscure the Simpsons reference. I gotta watch the Simpsons now, you guys. <laughs> what snobs? Promise me dog or better. Oh my gosh. Malk and rats, the perfect dinner and drink combo. Mm. There's another day in Los Angeles. <laughs> Aw, thanks for the hug, Valkyrie. Oh, man. Okay, sneaking. <sighs> the meter to the left indicates the proximity of your enemies and their chances of detecting you if they're looking your way. Green means you're completely safe. Yellow means you might be seen. And red means they will see you if they look in your direction. Oh, dear. An enemy's chance of detecting you is directly tied to your sneaking feet. If you're detected, your enemies will often say as much and come investigate. Oh, boy. <laughs> Nice view. <laughs> okay, where am I going? I don't think I'm very good at sneaking, honestly. Use a route taking you through shadows and behind cover. Oh no, I failed. Guys, I failed. I thought I was doing pretty well there. This is shadows. Like he can literally see me right now. Oh, he's walking over there, I see. Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh oh, I'm stuck. I can't move forward. Oh, I'm clicking the wrong key. That would do it. You get here, Jack. They're inside here. Seems that shovelhead outside just got separated from his pack. He's wounded too. Go take care of him. Don't worry. He's probably greener than you. What makes you think that? The Sabbat, you see, they don't have the most rigorous training program. In fact, that poor sod is lucky if he knows he's a vampire. Shadows play a bigger role. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. How can that be that he doesn't know he's a vampire? Uh, he's probably just turned and beaten over the head. They like to do that. Get shock troops and cannon fodder. Put him out of his misery. That's horrible. <sighs> Sounds good. I've got a little frustration I need to work out. He is a vampire, so be ready. I was born ready. Go get him. I'm on it. Okay, unarmed combat! Huh! Huh! Malk is ready for some unarmed combat, okay? I need to develop what, what I think her actual name is. Malk is her, her stage name, obviously. To engage in unarmed combat, you need to equip your fists and then attack. To equip your fists, press the melee weapons key, default F1, until your fists icon is highlighted in your melee weapon inventory. And then click the left mouse button. Oh my gosh, this is a lot. Pressing the attack key initiates your attack. Your unarmed combat feat is a combination of strength and brawl. It directly affects your success in unarmed combat. Okay, we're not very good at that. I did put a point in brawl. There are different attacks depending on what direction you're moving when you initiate your attack. Try different combinations of moving and attacking in the upcoming battle. You can also block your enemy's attacks by pressing and holding the attack mode key, default tab. 
To put your fists away, press the holster weapon key, H. Pfft, that was a lot of info there. Okay. F1. Okay, I've selected my fists because that's the only option. Tab is block. Okay, I think we're doing it. Arcalian, hi! Of this game, oh no! I'm in for it. How powerful a mock drinker's hands. You never know! Is a nickname for Malika? Really? Oh. This in this game, the thirsty tag gets a double meaning. <laughs> oh gosh. So I should go get that person that I just snuck by? Okay. Attack! Wow. It went down easy. You just picked up a tire iron. To equip this weapon, press the melee weapons key until the tire icon is highlighted, and then click on the left mouse button. This icon indicates the weapon you're currently... Oh, okay, so I've got my fists equipped currently. For ranged weapons, there are numbers indicating your current reserve of ammunition. Later on in the game, you'll find armor to protect yourself. Equip it in the same way as the weapons by pressing the armor key until the armor is highlighted and then clicking the left mouse button. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> I'm back. That's that. Sounds like you got another pack moving in though. The Saban are going all out. Better head underground, avoid straight bullets. Sounds like a good strategy. All right, head down into the basement through the grate in there. Keep that tire iron handy. I'll be there in a minute. See ya. He's being so nice to me, you know? Ooh, Arabic word for queen? That's nice. No, Arcalian, we're, we're Toreador, but for some reason the default name was Malk. And I forgot to change it, so we're just Malk now? <laughs> Oh, where is it? Here she is, Malk! <laughs> Dimension Cutter! I have no idea why it says Malk. Hello there. Oh gosh, hello there, Kalian. I don't know why the default name was Malk, and then I completely forgot to change it and realized later. It's bad, it's bad. But I kind of love her now. <laughs> Oh, gross. Do we need to pee anymore now that we're a vampire? <gasps> Down once more to the dungeon of my deep despair. <laughs> oh my gosh, Malk can be like the Phantom of the Opera, just like living in the catacombs of some like opera house or something. <gasps> Malika is a nice name. Yeah, maybe that'll be her real name. But I feel like, no, Malk, maybe, maybe... She has some memory loss. Maybe Malika was like her stage name, but she's just like misremembering it as Malk or something. <laughs> Cause like, why would Malk be her stage name? <laughs> uh, our poor Toreador. She really just like wanted to make it big, but like, you know, she just got, maybe she like had some flops at some, you know, some bars where she like just like, you know, she didn't make a good performance check. And so people were like, Malika, more like Malk. <laughs> and started like throwing tomatoes at her or something. <laughs> yeah, I definitely didn't want to do Malkavian. Embrace Malk. I can't wait to try a Malkavian playthrough though. And Nosferatu. She flubbed a line involving Milk on stage, earning the nickname Malk. Yes, that's perfect. Wanted to be Malkavian, but ended up at Toreador. Yes, exactly. Okay. We're getting information here. When you are in a position to perform a stealth stealth kill, you will see this icon. Stealth kills have the advantage of being silent. To perform a stealth kill, equip your fists or a melee weapon, crouch and sneak up behind your victim until you see the stealth kill icon, then press the use key. 
or when you're on higher, higher stealth levels, the attack key. Oh, I need my weapon. Sounds like the Sabbat's getting scattered. I'm gonna keep an ear to the ground. Be careful going forward here. Could be a whole mess of them holed up. Okay. Great, just my luck. Are you gonna come with me and help, please? <gasps> Aw, Sammy. Be some really interesting <laughs> So he's just really focused on those barrels. Okay, disciplines are your vampiric powers. This icon indicates the discipline you currently have selected. Blood buff. There are two kinds of disciplines, passive and targeted. Passive disciplines directly affect you, and targeted disciplines directly affect your enemies. All disciplines cost a certain amount of blood from your blood pool to activate. Blood buff is another ability common to all vampires. Oh, I see. Scroll the mouse wheel to select blood buff and use the power key right click to activate it. Blood buff gives you a temporary bonus to all of your physical attributes. It is useful in a variety of situations, like picking a lock that would otherwise be too difficult. Hmm. Note, in Elysium areas you can use blood buff while picking a lock only. Ooh, there's our aspects and celerity and presence. Ooh, what do those do again? Okay, Auspex is mental faculties. That's right. The auras of all those around you. Celerity is speed. Presence is fear. That's right. It makes them like worse in battles. Okay, so I kind of want to use celerity. Right. No, presence. Presence. Yes, that's the one that we're good at. Okay, game saved. Oh, I might need to use blood buff. It's probably not gonna let me through. Failed, okay. Got it, okay. Okay, we spent some blood, unfortunately. Oops. Torrider have three unique disciplines. Auspex, second sight that allows you to see the auras of others. Celerity, supernatural speed, and presence, the mystical projection of personality inspiring fear and awe. Auspex gives you the ability to see people's auras. The aura color indicates an individual's disposition. It also increases your perception, important to both the ranged combat and inspection feats. Got it. Use of Auspex is not a masquerade violation. There's a guard up ahead. Use Auspex to see its aura through the machinery. Hmm. Scroll the mouse field to select Auspex and use the power key to activate it. Make sure to pay attention to the discipline timer on the bottom right of your screen. Once you see the guard, equip the tire iron, move forward, and kill him. I totally don't see him. Oh. Am I supposed to be able to see him through there? I definitely did not see him. Maybe it's because it hasn't leveled up enough? You can feel people's aura. You probably also have a crystal collection and a lock and, and look into astrology. Low range until you upgrade it. Got it. There's no need to go stirring up the hornet's nest till we know the score, though. Head through here. Come to an elevator around the way. I'll meet you over there. Meet you there. Don't let him catch you. If I'm not there in 10 minutes, call the president. Presence is the power to mystically project your personality. It's a passive discipline. Once you activate it, pay attention to the discipline timer on the bottom right. It is not a masquerade violation. 
There's a spot guard up ahead. Use presence to frighten and then kill him. Aha! Okay. Everyone, stay calm! Ha! 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 A raid! One moment, I'm in battle! The heat of battle! Ah! I'm not doing very well! No! <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Ah. Yes! We are victorious! Hello! How are you doing, friends? Welcome into the tavern. Thank you so, so much for the raid. Look at these, like, the, like glitchy blood stains. I love it. I love it. What do people call this game? A flawed masterpiece? I'm definitely getting those vibes. I love a flawed masterpiece. Celerity is a vampiric supernatural speed. Celerity is a passive or time-based discipline. Once you activate it, pay attention to the discipline timer on the bottom right of your screen. I believe the game is bright enough for y'all. It seems pretty dark for me. When I bleed, it drips into a square shape too. <laughs> Use of celerity levels two to five is a masquerade violation. Do not use it in masquerade areas. Okay, use celerity to kill him. Let's do it. Oh, I'm getting beat down. Zero? Come on, dice. That is rough. You go to this game is scheduled for this year. I know that's what really prompted me. I was like, okay, this is my time. I gotta, I gotta play the first one before I play the sequel because I heard about the sequel and got really stoked about it. And I'd heard so many things about this game. <laughs> we got it. We got a feed. Is there like loot in this game? I haven't seen any yet, really. Empire whackage. <laughs> Ooh, when you pick up an object and throw it, you will see this use icon. To pick up an object, press the use key. To throw it, press the attack key. Thrown objects make noise and can be used to distract your enemies. I love that. Huh? What was that? Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Fucking humans. Gangbangers protecting their turf. Oh man. I'm here thinking it's Sabat moving up in here. It's the fucking locals about to take one for the hood. So what do we do? Yeah, they probably seem too much. Here, take this 38. Fucking pea shooter, but a few shots in it'll take down a human. Thanks. Well, I'm gonna want it back, so don't go die and lose it. I don't use guns much. They're noisy, they're clumsy, practically useless against vampires, but still, a kindred's gotta keep up with the times. And in modern day Los Angeles, that means coming strapped. Useless against vampires? Well, you know, some are more lethal than others, of course. Watch out for those shotguns. Ouch, those things can smart, I tell you. I hear you. Head up and clear out what's left of them. Can't have them running their mouths about any of this. I'm gonna make sure there's no stragglers around outside. Okay. Okay, you've been given a 38 revolver. To equip it, press the ranged weapons key, F2, until the revolver is highlighted, then left click. Okay, we fire pressing left mouse button again. Perfect. Okay, ranged combat. A combination of perception and firearms is a feat that affects how well you shoot a gun. When you equip a gun, you will see the ranged combat cursor. It's spread, up, it's spread and the speed at which it focuses is a direct result of the value of your ranged combat feet. There are some bottles on a crate at the end of the hall. Aim your cursor, wait for it to fully focus, and use the attack key to fire the gun. 
Oh, interesting. Okay, okay, cool. Let's try it. Oops. I'm so used to Mass Effect. I just clicked the right, <laughs> the right <laughs> mouse key to try to aim. And I just used a vampire power. Oops. Uh. Oh my gosh. Steve Bloom? Oh my god, that would be amazing. Ah! Woo! This is hard! Ooh, that was cool. I did it. See, I did it. Did you see that? Go on up. I'll meet you. Oh, he doesn't care. Oh, thank you. I guess I just used all my ammo. <laughs> but I got more. Ha ha ha. Ooh, rat. Hey, food's food, okay? Pop, pop. Oh no, it's locked. I'm so confused as to how to lock pick. Oh! a hole there oh there's an elevator that's nice totally saw that totally knew that Freeze, motherfucker. Ah! <laughs> I shot him <gasps> a bat perfect oh my gosh that was terrifying. Ah! Gotcha! Woo! Ow. Okay, combat is not the only solution for sticky situations. You can also use your feats and disciplines in dialogue. When you're able to do this, your responses will show up in different colors. And when using higher resolutions, different fonts that are indicated below oh <gasps> oh i see hopefully okay you guys can see those so one is persuasion seduction is pink and kind of flouncy <laughs> it's malkin time <laughs> it can't be lock picked oops enjoy your lurk dearest divine i appreciate you <laughs> pat for the fat oh gosh Okay, intimidation is the big blocky green letters. Seduction is pink. Persuasion is blue. Got it. I think I can remember that. Did you see that? I did it. That's it, kiddo. Just like that, and it's all over. It's proud of me. Everyone slinks back to their corners of the city for the night. That's it? It's it's all over? Until the next night when the Camarilla finds some way to strike back. Barry Dodge spinning all that, and so on, and so on, and so on. So this is normal? Well, to be honest, it came at a, well, an interesting time, let's say. The Camarilla, the Sabbat. Now, in L.A., these are the new kids on the block. There's already plenty of kindred had stakes down in California mm. long before them. Now, we got every ancient kindred rivalry playing out all over the city. A lot of tension out there. A lot of fear. A lot of jittery, high-strung predators clinging to their little pieces of eternity. You're losing me here, Jack. Oh, boy. Oh, I think they're looking for you outside. Guess you've got a cab to catch. 
was hoping to fill you in on a little bit more, but nah, hell, you'll figure it all out. If you make it back, stop in at the last round. It's this bar downtown here. I'll fill you in on the politics. <laughs> now that's the stuff that'll kill you. <laughs> the last round, I'll be there. I love this guy. We did our first quest! Vampiric Seductress, ooh. Politics, no! You've received two experience points by pressing the character editor key, C. You can access your character sheet and spend your experience points where you see fit. Unspent experience points will stay in your available experience pool. <gasps> okay, we're using a Camarilla safe house in Santa Monica as our haven. Here you'll find some essentials! Okay, I didn't get to read it all. Oh. Love the place. Some really nice. Okay, we have points to spend. Oh, I see. Um, so they cost different amounts. We only have two points. So we can't even buy anything. So we gotta save them. The lowest amount to spend is three. Okay, now now comes the hard part. We have to decide how like what to save it for. Ooh. <laughs> Not brave enough for that. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's in here? Oh, blood. Thank you. A bag of blood routinely used in hospitals for transfusions. Using it restores three blood points. Heck yeah! Health potions! Oh. Nice. Hello, LA. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? Hope you've slipped into something. What is this? At your convenience, please come and visit me in my home downtown. I leave you this to guide you. Dark blood, our curse. A light, this verse. Such power I sense in one so young. Come find me where burns the mystical sun. M. Strauss, Tremere Regent. <gasps> Tremere! Wait, are those the mages? Hmm. The Deb of Night is you're probably a vampire radio DJ. Oh my gosh! Amazing. Okay. Dark blood, our curse, a light, this verse. Such power I sense in one so young. Come find me where burns the mystical sun. Okay, keep your eyes peeled for a mystical sun. Oops. Hey, the password for your computer is sunrise. Keep the cash in the drawer. It's yours. I dropped you an email with my address. Come on over after you get settled. Mercurio. Okay, he's the one I'm supposed to meet who's going to, like, guide me. LaCroix Foundation. Secure intranet. You have five emails. What was my, what was my password again? <laughs> I should pay more attention. Sunrise. Okay, okay. Oops, do I have caps lock on? Password accepted. Entering email. A reminder. From LaCroix. Mercurio will contact you. Oh, LaCroix must be the prince! Mercurio will contact you when you arrive in Santa Monica. Waste no time in meeting with him. SL. Okay. Subject. Dang, it's big, you know. Penis enlargement! Watch the girls come running! Call today! <laughs> Stick! Oh my gosh. Classic. Hung low at Trojan Botnet. <laughs> Not <a> VTF. <laughs> That's incredible. Kilpatrick's Crime Pewter. From Arthur at 
dirt cheap internet dot vtm <laughs> oh my gosh looking for that lazy ass ex-husband who's late on his alimony payments how about that jerk who knocked you up look no further with arthur kilpatrick's amazing crime pewter you can find almost anyone with a record and these days that's just about everyone so come on down to arthur kilpatrick's bail bonds if you've got the dead beat we've got the technology to find him <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. The spam. <laughs> oh. You're not downtown yet, however. Okay, okay. Deb of night. Okay, we gotta check that out. Portable personal computer? What is this? The future? Yeah, what? A laptop in 2004? Those are rare. Subject, welcome, from Mercurio. Hey, welcome to town. Come on over to my place once you get situated, and we'll talk about what you'll need to get the job done. I'm going to pick up explosives right now, some astrolite. I should be back by the time you come over. I'm at 24 Main Street, in number four. Walk to the end of the alley, and my building is the next one on the right. M. 24 Main Street, in number four. Walk to the end of the alley, and my building is the next one on the right. Got it. The opening, a friend. The game begins, a pawn is moved. What? Okay, weird cryptic emails, thank you very much. Biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. They speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered family of sea creatures. Actor Ash Rivers is lucky to be alive after his car crashed into the gate at Parasite Studios earlier tonight. Witnesses say that they were shocked when the Negative Zero star emerged unscathed and apparently unfazed by his high-speed accident. Rivers' agent released a statement stating that Rivers' crash was due to a mechanical problem and that the studio is not pursuing legal action against Rivers for the trademark gate's destruction. Miraculously, this is the second crash hmm, Rivers has escaped on Vampire fire. celebrity? A massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of Providence, Rhode Island, has scientists scratching their heads. Found by a jogger early on Tuesday morning who says he smelled it a mile away, the mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus. Though marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. Okay, so it's on repeat now. It could be from a yet undiscovered family of sea creatures. Our top story... Pill bottle? Hey. Estrogen. Do not take if male. Get found floating 10 miles off the Los Angeles... Or if you're a vampire, I guess. ...was towed into the port of Los Angeles a few hours ago. Normal watch. It's a replica of a must ni much nicer watch. Okay, we can sell these After things. After attempts to hail the ship prove futile, Coast Guard officials are releasing very little information right now, but have identified the vessel as the Elizabeth Dane. No word as of yet as to the. Oh wait, there was more. Crew, though the Coast Guard are asking any ships that had contact with the Elizabeth Dane to assist them in their search. We'll have more on the story. As it breaks, a massive gelatinous creature that washed up money. Our wallet isn't empty anymore, y'all. Found by a jogger early on Tuesday morning who says the thin faded cash in your wallet won't get you far. <laughs> I like how it updates as you get money. Marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. They speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered. Okay. Shh. Okay. <sighs> Active quests. The Regent's Riddle. M. Strauss, the Tremere Regent, has invited you to his home in downtown Los Angeles. You need to find him. The invitation left a cryptic riddle. Okay, we've got the riddle here. Perfect. Wherefore, Artho Mercurio! Thank you for making the reference to Romeo and Juliet. Except it's Mercutio, right? Come on. I remember computer screens like that. I'm old. Same. <sighs> when does this say they have plot details? Imagine the news will be interesting if you use powers. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's got the MTF, pill MTF pills ready to go. <laughs> we can buy milk now. Oh my goodness. 
Prince Lacroix has dictated that you are to meet with an agent of his name of, of his named Mercurio in Santa Monica who will provide you with the details of your assignment. Okay. I'm pretty sure that this quest was downtown though. Yeah, downtown, not Santa Monica. Oh my gosh, Malk is ready. Let's go talk to people. Well, I just saved. May as well just take a peeky poo in here. Caller, you've got the first shot at dead tonight. So who do I have the pleasure? Oh not presents! No! I meant to do blood. Oh man. <gasps> We're in. How many boats do you own? There's nothing here. I wasted my powers. Rats. Oh, this place is so nice. Okay, well, good to know there's nothing there. It won't tempt me anymore. Those fingernails <laughs> scare the lock. <laughs> I tried. I certainly tried. <gasps> the LA Sun! Carnival of Death. Gruesome remains found on the pier. Police baffled. Oh. Oh, this is just open. Okay. Well, come on in then. Okay, nothing to see. Oh. Okay, we can't lose masquerade hey, points. Lady. You, you got some change, lady? Oh. Okay, this is good character establishment. Does she give change to homeless people? I think she does, but she's definitely gonna drink his blood right after. Here it is. It's not much, but I hope it helps. Just very nice. Thank you. And a crab nibble. Listen to that crab nibble. Oh, got a crab nibble. Oh. Okay, I think I did it. little like wiggle as she walks so sultry hopefully I didn't get caught um what wow this is a great area of the town isn't it Uh, yes. Is there something I can, um, help you with? What are you doing, just standing here? Waiting for that blasted tow truck I called an hour ago. I'd rather not wait another second in this part of town, this time of night. Rather dreadful place, don't you think? I should have listened to my mechanic, by German, he said. <laughs> Is this a vampire? Blood PNG. <laughs> I have no idea what he was saying. He was milk to them. This is actually cleaner, yeah. I used to live in LA, so I'm familiar with the rougher areas. It's really it's really sad in a lot of areas. Hmm. Wait, can I flirt with him? Is that what looking for a little company is? Wait, can I suck his blood? Let's try. Looking for a little company? I'm happily married Ugh. to my work. And I have a wife, too. Well, whatever. I'm out of here. What I wouldn't do for a glass of 79 Chateau Montebleau right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I need to find... Okay, well, what's going on with this place? Oh, this is Elysium! Oh, wow, we're going here. Okay. 
A boss with a wheelchair entrance? That's cool! So what's with this blood going on here? <gasps> Are you okay? Those mothers ripped me off. I'm dying here. Oh. Are you Mercurio? Uh, yeah. You looking for the astrolite? I'm... Oh, I can feel a draft on my fucking insides. They shank me, the bastards. The blood ain't working no more. My head, it feels cracked. Oh, I think my eyes popped. Stay with me. What happened? I got... I went... Uh, what is this lump? Is this my rib? Oh, holy shit. My rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. <laughs> it's a broken bottle. Now tell me what happened to you. Goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in LA. I verified him. Organizations seem reliable. The guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Well, Four well. of these guys, they come out of nowhere. What have we Junky here? bricks. Hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those bricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I'm hearing a lot of I complaining. my car, call my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. But shit, they got the money, they got the astrolite. You idiot, the prince will want to hear about this. You gotta, you can't tell anybody. Nobody can know I blew it, promise me. If they find out I'm a dead man. With you tights, I screw up once and it's over. You hear me? I'm a goddamn memory. <laughs> oh, welcome a new tavern member. Thanks for the follow. What's my silence worth to you? Uh, listen, I, I got connections. I'll set you up. But, oh, son of a bitch. My leg's gone numb. Damn it. Look, you got me by the balls here. Whatever is in my power to get you is yours. <laughs> Fair enough. Now where's the astrolite? Small time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Four or five of them. The one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money too, that prick. How do I get there? Land in a pool in my own blood and you want friggin' direction. Yeah! Right, alright. Uh, down the street, in the parking garage, stairs down to the beach. On the right. <clears throat> Those better not be some of my last words. Okay. I don't know if this is a game that tells me where to go. So I need to remember. Down the street, parking garage, stairs down to the beach, to the right. Okay. Anything else? You gotta, you gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him, maybe break in. I don't know. I don't want to kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. How is this guy so bad at his job? Don't go anywhere, Slick. I'll be back as soon as I've done your job for you. Gosh. Can't trust anyone to do anything else. Gotta just do it my way, I suppose. Ooh, nice vases. The blood squares, I know! Good time zone, half. How are you? What flavor of blood? We're drinking Malk. <laughs> Our character's name is Malk <laughs> because I forgot to change the <laughs> default name. <laughs> okay, we located Mercurio. He's kind of useless and we need to go get the astrolite he was supposed to get from the group of junky pricks who live in a dump on the beach. And he wants his money back, but we're going to keep that. Okay. Beach access, perfect. I should probably get some blood here. How am I supposed to find someone to feed on who's like away from everyone else, you know?
What? I'm on a blood drive. Yes, may I help you? I could use some sunblock. Okay, I need the password to whatever that is. We'll find out eventually, I'm sure. Can I suck your blood? Hey, honey, looking for a date? That all depends how much. Ooh, I don't get to do women often. Mm, especially ones as cute as you, sugar. 40? What? Oh, wait, I have a blood bag! 40 sound. I don't think so. I got, I got a blood bag, you guys. Did that do it? Okay, yeah, that, that, that got me up a little bit. Okay. I'll probably use presents on them. I've seen a lot of shocking things in my time on the Milk course. discount. That's the kind of thing that makes you crab really nipple. Yes, minute. they're saying crab I nipple. Say the crab thing. nipple this, crab nipple that. By the looks of it, you think someone tied the two horses and raced them in opposite directions. What could you have possibly seen that was worse than what's down there? It was about three years ago, up in Melody, on this guy on the beach. Uh oh. Like, I don't know, an shark bite? No, I haven't seen shark bites. This was something different. Like whatever killed him. Oh, it looks like people are not doing well at hiding the, vamp the vampirism. Ooh, you can use seduction to feed on people. I gotta try that. That hasn't popped up for me yet, though. We are open! Oh, do I not have my gun anymore? <gasps> oh no, he took the gun back. Up there. Through that chain link gate and up those stairs. Juhani! It sounds like Juhani! Belk will become the... <laughs> Welcome in, Nerdy First. How you doing? Oh, goodness. Mark is best. Okay, what? Those men you are looking for. How did you know I was looking for someone? Who are you? Never mind. You wouldn't understand. Well, thanks. Up there? Do you know who the head vampire is? Um, what are you talking about? If the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? Only in the movies. Oh. But, um, how about blood transfusions? If I get a full blood transfusion, I can become human again, right? Oh, we could trick him? That's so mean. No, I think it's permanent. What? Oh, no. There, there's nothing I can do? You can try not to let your condition defeat you. But how? I don't want this. I want to be human again. Hmm. I know. The dead can never live again, but they can survive. Do you understand? It's going to be okay, champ. Sucks, bro. Sucks, bro. Yeah. Listen, it's like I've told you types about a thousand times now. We know we can't hunt round here, all right? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. You have beautiful eyes, sir. Do you see any thugs come through here carrying bats? Now you should try up there. Through that chain link gate. 
couple of real nasty looking bloods come out there a couple of times a night. Cool. Now, who are you guys exactly? You mean you ain't here to run us off? No, why would you think that? We're getting pretty sick of it. Someone citing domain or in the worst case is hunting us for sport. What? Why? Don't know. We all seem to have come down with the same disease. Oh, who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, all right? We seem to be the runts, the mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. Thin bloods? What's a thin blood? <laughs> I'm damned if I know. Well, I know you don't want to be one. You seem to be in the loop. You tell me. I mean, I've been a vampire for all of a day? For starters, what clan are you? Clan? See, I've heard all that before. And, and I still don't know what the hell anyone's talking about. I'd like to know just what I've become. We'd all like to know just, just what the, the hell kind of devil's contract we've apparently signed. How did this happen to you? I'd just come to town for the surf tourney. Seems like years ago, but it's, well, been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. Please continue. She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing myself, the way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone. Go on. <laughs> Whoa, look at the time, I'm out of <laughs> Go on. She tried to tell me what she was, but I didn't understand. And so she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left, never really knowing what I was. Well, I realize now how she must have felt. So here I am now, a mystery to myself. Hmm. Is Lily dead? Clinically, yes. But honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. Are all these others here thin bloods as well? Aye. Most of them just recently arrived in LA. Got chased off by the Sabbath or some such thing from their home cities. They're more in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but well, they've been through a lot. It's affected them. Hmm. Maybe I should look into this whole thin blood thing. Well, I hope you have better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. Hmm. Only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. You do know you're vampires, right? That's what Lily tried to tell me. But what I don't understand are the rules and the terms and the reasons some of them are at our throats claiming we're harbingers of the apocalypse. That's what, what? I know. Oh, wow. Well, I'll get back to you if I hear anything. This is concerning. That's right, she was also Jack in Mass Effect. <gasps> Dirk the Red, Dirk the Red, hello, welcome in, hi. How are you? Yes, first gear relationship in Bioware, right? Courtney Taylor, amazing. Oceans Why does that guy look like an Oblivion custom character? Oh my gosh, I love him, look at him. He's great. <gasps> Emilio, hi! Welcome in! How are you? E e evening. Evening. Are you okay? It's n n nothing. Sorry to bother you. Or do I scare you? N n n n no, I, I have a sp speech problem. S so sorry. Sorry to bother you. Goodbye. Uh, easy, easy, easy. No one, no. Bubble. These poor people! <gasps> Wooden stake. Mm hmm. You have me. No, no, you are going to China. Oh! Is she Malkavian? She's having like vision things or something. What, what are you talking about? Why is he smiling? The father. Is it, is it the father behind him? You're not making any sense. You chased it for the one at the top of the city. On the sea. Oh, on the ground. You found it in the crypt. 
It's open. Oh, it's open. Oh God. Oh God. Run. Here's Divine. Hey. Six bagels. I love bagels. I just had them this morning. Who is Kali? I, I don't understand. Oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I see nothing. Disregard what I say. Come on, tell me more. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. I know. Goodbye. Okay. Well, we're going this way. <gasps> Combat area. Here we go. Uh oh. Celerity again. Um, oh, the speed. That's right. Oh, maybe I should use that steak. Shit. Everyone out here now. Hey, hold it. Oh, it said I could block, but I feel like I'm not doing that very well. Ah! Yes, this is my first time. And it has the patch installed. I got the GOG version. It's been great so far. No no issues with the game or anything other than the the blood patches being square. <laughs> uh, do we have any Will this heal us? No, it just restores our blood points, but I kind of want to use it. Oh, and it healed us! Okay, cool. Huh? Oh, come on. Oh my gosh! Doorways! Come on! Uh, this is hard. Oh! You're alive? Buddy! Yes! I need a ranged weapon! I'm not built for this! Oh. 
I think we did it. Oh! Never mind! Are very strong. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Can you feed on corpses? I don't know. But they're vamp they're vampires, right? Oh no, they're not vampires! Are they humans? Feed attempt failed. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Car stereo. Just what I wanted. Drugs. Don't look children. Mock is waking up and choosing violence today. <laughs> Blood heal? No, I don't. That must be a different clan thing. I've got... Um, we've got... So we're Toreadors. We have Auspex, Celerity, and Presence. Ooh, they have a little video game console. Let's play some games. Oh, I can move that. Ooh. Could I have thrown that at them? Ooh. There's the astrolite. Got it. Wow, they do laundry. Who knew? I can't use the computer. Getting around doorways for some reason is really hard for me. <laughs> like, ah, ah. Okay, I think we got it all. You retrieved the astrolite from Mercurio. You should return to him and find out what your next step should be. Cool. Save and quit. I should fix on reboot. Oh, cool. Thank you. Oh, oh, Emilio, thank you. You need to be closer to them. That makes a lot of sense. Can't feed from a range, can we? <laughs> Unless we have a really long straw. <laughs> okay, and we also, we got some quests here. Thinned blood. The surfer on the Santa Monica beach is interested in knowing what thin bloods are. He knows only what his sire Lily told him before he parted ways with her. You might want to check out the Surfside Diner in town and see if she's there. Carnival of Death. Gruesome remains were found on the Santa Monica Pier. Perhaps you should look into this. Okay, cool. Whew, we did it, guys. We had a ba successful battle. Oh. What else is around these parts? Where your teeth extend like Jar Jar's tongue! Oh! Oh, Jar Jar's tongue. Oh, I could have, like, turned off their power? That would have been a pro move. I could have snuck in the back? Failed. Unless... I wonder if this is a new room that I can access, or if it's just the same. So, I could have just snuck in there and stolen it and gone out. Wow. It's cool that there are different ways to approach these battles. You've been playing this game every year for like 10 years. There are a lot of small issues. <gasps> well, that's awesome. So you'll be our, our expert. We already have one of those. 
Ooh, maybe I should put my gun away? Do I do that? Okay, there we go. Ooh! Totally! Just hears obscenities from when he was playing the game's console! <laughs> we missed something in the house. Hmm. Maybe it's that door. I kinda wanna try opening that door. Or maybe attacking this thing. Does it look like I could shoot that thing? <gasps> Oops! <laughs> I guess that makes sense. What is this? Oh. I did practically stare at it. Okay, okay, we're going back in. <laughs> I need to, I need to try one more time. <laughs> ah! Open. Oh! <gasps> this? Oh! Oh! It opens. Wait. Okay, okay, okay. Let me put this away. Can I crouch, crouch, crouchy, crouch? Money! Oh! Oh my gosh! That's so cool! I gotta keep my eyes out for things like that because that is sneaky. I love that. Oh. Oh, I love that I can break the windows. With my bare fists. I'm just training. Most people never find that first time around. Well, that was great. Thank you for you were you told me very politely that there was something, but you didn't. You totally didn't spoil it for me. I really appreciate that. That's perfect. Oh, oh, I guess we can't fall, can we? Or can we? Oh, this is very Morrowind, isn't it? Oh, I love it. You need to sleep by nerdy first. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you sleep well. Mock on the kitchen counter. <gasps> yeah, it's a weird bug. Square textures, indeed. It's all good. I don't mind too much. Okay, so we got the money. How much money is it? What was I gonna do? I feel like I was gonna do something. No, can't remember. Let's go up here. It's hip to be square. Everything's still so familiar. That's the best when it's a game that you, you know, played a long time ago. It's that like sense of nostalgia. Okay, we are in a combat zone still. Good to know. Okay. Let's go up there. Are you gonna find the prostitute? Oh my gosh! 2004 original Source Engine. Yes! Real Bread and Brothers is the story. Yes, exactly. The gameplay is actually pretty great so far, not gonna lie. I, I enjoy it. Like, just like the... Especially the voice acting and the... Like, the characters. Yeah, I'm, I'm into it. Ooh. Uh oh, this doesn't look good. <gasps> oh, this is the body. Oh. Call of Duty.
You saw a bloody murder scene on the pier, but weren't able to find out anything significant about the killer, except the killing was extremely brutal, vicious, and beast-like. Can I, like, talk to them? Hello? Okay. Officer? You can't get back here, I'm sorry. Excuse me? You can't get back here, I'm sorry. Going alone down a dark alley. Didn't I tell you to get away from there? Should right, we drink his have blood? To move along now. This is risky, guys. It'll tell me if I was caught, right? Okay, still have five masks. I need to up that seduction, clearly. Okay, I would get a violation if I were caught. <laughs> oh man. You like seeing a lot of things in this game playing through it now? That Fallout New Vegas took influence- Oh! Yes! Wait, it was the same- So this is the same game studio that made the original Fallout, right? Or did they also make New Vegas as well? I can't remember which ones that this game studio made versus like when it was transferred to Bethesda. And I haven't played Fallout at all yet, but I really want to. Just a little hickey. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, Mercurio. This game feels dangerous. Like, I'm scared for fights, and that's kind of fun. Oh, there's the prostitute. Defense and bashing add to your defense against bullets. Should probably get some of those. Oh my gosh, are you okay, man? Oh damn, did you die on me? Eat some blood, man. I got the astrolite back. Yeah. Did you waste those sons of bitches? Yes, they left me no choice. I barged in the front door. Good. Great. Hope it was painful. Did you get my money back? No, sorry, I didn't find it. Damn, I could have used that money to buy myself some new kidneys. You're a vampire. Or are you not a vampire? Is he not a vampire? You're a vampire, right, Mercurio? There's a design influence across the two. Okay, got it. I still have kidneys. Don't you grow everything back once you've like healed? Like you can just like feed and like sleep or whatever, and then like you gr everything's fine. <laughs> this guy is so dramatic. <laughs> he's not a vampire. Oh my god, he's a ghoul. Okay, now I feel kind of bad for him. I really just thought he was a vampire and was complaining. Oh. He's only alive because of the vamp blood. So he's taking, so is that right? Is that a ghoul? I've been listening to the these lore videos about Vampire the Masquerade and they were saying that ghouls, I think it's a ghoul when you, or maybe there are different levels of it. When humans are fed vampire blood, they can be like basically controlled by the vampire that's feeding them their blood. Very creepy. 
Oh gosh. Okay, now I kind of feel bad for him. What's the story with this astrolite? That astrolite? Twice as powerful as TNT. Instant demolition. Be on the other side of the world when you engage that timer. You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabbat interest. What do you know about this warehouse? I heard a lot about that operation. Well, I'd love to get in there. Get my hands on the equipment they've been unloading. But it'd be suicide to walk in there. Got a small army of trigger happy types and they're all packing. I don't know, maybe, uh... Maybe what? Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. Mm -hmm. Seems like I need to find him. What? Why? Tong's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tong are feuding. I don't know the details. Mike takes that Tong thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're gonna have to get Therese to call off the feud. Where can I find her? She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. What are the Sabbat? The Sabbat are like vampires that are against the Camarilla. So the Camarilla is like the organized like government or a kind of the government that's like trying to be organized into like like basically retaining control over all of the vampires. And I think the Sabbat is like the one that's kind of warring against them. I think they're more just like anarchists, but I don't know. Uh, okay, so I was right about the ghouls. Okay. They're just against everyone. They want the world to fall into chaos. Okay, got it. Oh, Anarchs are different than Sabbat. Oh. So the Anarchs are the ones who are against, like, the more organized Camarilla. Got it. Wait, who are the Sabbat then? They're just, like, agents of chaos? Okay, the Asylum. What can you tell me about her? She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking bro for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. I had a question about someone else. Who exactly? Okay, so that was Jeanette. Bertram Tongue. I don't know him myself. I'd like to meet the guy. Kind of a local legend. He and Therese seem to be contenders for this city. He's crafty. Smart guy. I haven't heard anything bad about him. Hmm. I have some other questions about places. Specifically? Tell me about some of the power players in Santa Monica. Who exactly? Oh. Yourself! What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. I could say it's my calling. Until the astrolite. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back east some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate LA, but what are you gonna do? You said something about blood. Right. You're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster. Makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me, you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. Whoa. Okay, thanks for the info. Goodbye. Interesting! Okay, now I feel a little bit bad for not, like, helping him out. That's okay. I should have known that he was like bleeding everywhere. What if I just fed on him and just killed? Uh, the game will probably stop me, but that would be so funny. Practically agents of chaos. Both the Anarchs and Camarilla know that you don't walk around talking about being kindred. So I go out of their way to make sure people know. Oh, I see. The vampire hunters are the Inquisition. Need some milk. Oh my gosh. Okay, we've got a lot to do. Explosive beginning. Mercurio has told you about a warehouse being used by the Sabbat that must be infiltrated and destroyed. The problem is that Bertram Tung, the only person who might be able to get you in, is in hiding because of a feud with Therese Vorman. To get to Tung, you'll have to find some way to call off the feud. Okay. To the asylum? Let's keep exploring. Seymour's Delicatessen Restaurant Fine Wine Shop. Medical Clinic? 
Sounds like blood to me. Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. I'm just bringing my friend who's being treated some personal items. All right, go on back. Yes. Oh, this looks like a horrible thing. Uh, mm, mm, oh my gosh, are you okay? Uh, uh, please get a doctor. I'll see what I can do. Uh, my insides so Who is running this place? It's a hospital from hell. I'm sorry, miss, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. But there's this girl over there. I, I think she's going to die. See here now. I'm the only physician here at the moment. We got twice as many people as usual waiting for treatment. I'll look at her as soon as possible. Uh, try to talk to her. Keep her awake. But uh, I've got a man in there with a bullet in his head. My nurse paged Dr. Roberts a half hour ago. He'll be here any time. Till then, stay with your friend and make sure she doesn't go into shock. I must go. Okay. How are his vitals? Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Now I'm responsible for her? <laughs> can someone call my grandma, please? Stay with me. I, I can save you. Uh, 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 no! Uh, Hold on! What happened? Feed her your blood. Give her the milk. <gasps> but then she'll be my ghoul friend. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, milk. Milk is a generous type, and she also wants to gain control. But wait, will I get in trouble for this? Never know till you try. Are you okay? She's okay. We gained humanity. You all right? You who? Uh, who are you? Oh, what did you do? What did you do to me? <sighs> uh, nothing. I, I'm just a nurse. Bye. No, no. You did something. I can oh, feel it. Oh, nothing. It's nothing. Fixing me. You. I, I kissed your wrist. What did you do? Look, forget about this, and don't say anything. You'll be fine. You... I feel like I know you. Like you've <gasps> always been here. I really must be going now. Oh man. Is she gonna be like the adoring fan? She's gonna follow us everywhere now? Close the door! I can't escape her face! <laughs> Oops. I didn't mean to even do that. Love, we're just barging into patient rooms. This is so inappropriate. Ooh, what was that? Oh, it was more pills? Why everyone got the estrogen pills up in here? Oops. Love the adoring fan, yes! Me too. Let's try again. Morphine? Oh, yes. 
email. Password! <sighs> it's not gonna be good. Skill too low, okay. Can I blood buff and do it? Uh. Or is blood buff just physical skills? Not just physical skills. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind. Is the password posted on a sticky note somewhere helpfully? Guess not. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, it's Auspex for hacking. Thank you, let's try it again. You're right. Let me double check. I need to remind myself. Auspex, mental faculties, yes. Okay, thank you. We did it! Malcolm, are you free tonight? I thought you could swing by my apartment after your shift. You do still make house calls, don't you, doctor? I have something that needs to be checked out. Page. <laughs> wow. I think she's suspicious. Do I really have to ask twice? We don't have to do anything if you don't want, but I really do need some help studying for my anatomy test, please? Page. <gasps> Guess I'll see you around five. I'm really glad you finally decided to come over. And if you should want me to show my appreciation, you just have to ask Paige. Who is this Paige? On your way home. Malcolm, do you think you'll be able to get a day off next week? My mother's coming into town on Thursday. I bought a new mattress and some new curtains for the guest room. Do you think you can pick up some donuts and orange juice on the way home for breakfast? Oops. Oh no, what did I do? Dr. Malcolm St. Martin. Mm -mm -mm. We've got some dirt on you now. She's paging Dr. Malcolm. Wow. How are we gonna use that information? Is that this person? If I could only risk for a second. I told you, I will get to you when I can. Please take a seat. Get out of here. Can't you see I'm with the patient? Oh, sorry. I didn't read that out loud. I said, does your wife know about your affair? <laughs> Wait, am I trying to get money out of him? I guess you don't care if your wife finds out then. You're trying to blackmail me? You don't know who my wife is. She wouldn't believe you. Now get out. Oh, then I'll go forward that email from Paige to Trina. Oh my god, this is terrible! Wait now. What do you want? And <laughs> money? I feel so awful. My humanity's gonna go down. $75. Deal. But I'm in the middle of something. I'll have to <laughs> now never speak to me about that again. Put it in the mailbox for 508 in the apartments over the pawn shop, doctor. Thanks. Oh my gosh, my humanity didn't go down? Wow. Okay. I guess I did save that person's life. Lovely evening. Yeah, definitely. No, no, I don't know you. Hey, buddy, go your own way. Okay, that was interesting. Doctor Holder just find seventy five bucks. Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh, Moonlight Goddess! No way. <laughs> That's hilarious. I mean, it's not. It's not hilarious. It's terrible. But like, what? 
<laughs> oh gosh, such a fail. Where is that damn tow truck? See ya. What I wouldn't do for a glass of seventy-nine Chateau Montebleau right now. Oh wait, can I can I feed on him? Certainly not getting them. Where is that damn tow truck? You're still waiting. Can I persuade you to help me out? My wallet's been stolen. I'm afraid I'm a little short on cash right now. I'm so sorry. I'll be on my way then. Of all the places. Oh, I thought I was gonna like tempt him to go to the alley and then suck his blood. Never mind. Okay, that's locked. Don't touch me. Right? Sorry. What's back here? Seems pretty human to you, VG. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, man. Tomes of knowledge. Oh, a gallery. Nothing to do here, I guess. Okay, cool. I wonder how I get to other areas. This white canvas is modern art work, I guess so. Uh, modern art, prime for Toreador fascination, it's true. Alpine, how are you doing? Welcome into the tavern, my friend. Oh, it's good to see ya. Whoa. Oh, this is the actual pawn shop. Hi. Can I sell things to you? Uh, hey, hey. Yeah? Uh, how's it going? You, um, looking to buy or sell or... Um, I'd like to sell something. Actually, let's go with... What's your name? They call me Trip. I own this shop. Nice to meet you, Trip. Thanks. You, uh, new to Santa Monica? <laughs> yeah, I am. Is it that obvious? It's not a big surprise. We get you faces through here night after night. Used to be more tourists, but now... I don't know, man. It's more like drifters. Hmm. Why did they come here? Beats me. Santa Monica is dead. I don't know why anyone comes out here anymore. It's gonna be worse now with this serial killer on the loose. Yeah, it's freaking me out to be honest. I'm open all night and Santa Monica police don't rank amongst the nation's most worthy. <laughs> oh my god, I love this guy. Protect Trip! <laughs> There's alleys and stuff. Ooh, that's true. Well, try and stay safe. What do you have to sell today? All right, here's what we got today. Computers for grandma. Oh my gosh. Wait, is that all you have? Unknown. Ooh. That's all he has? All right, I guess I'm gonna sell stuff. Well, well, what have we here? Take some estrogen pills and a watch. <laughs> oh, thanks for the follow. Welcome a new tavern member. Oh, he gets more stuff as the game progresses. That's good to know. <gasps> doing well and so glad I get to lurk for cozy vampire times. Oh, yay! I'm doing great, actually. Yeah, things are good. And yeah, I really can't complain. You know, get to get to play games here with you all. I had a good weekend spending time outside and family visited last week. So that was really fun. And watch the new Avatar series. 
So yeah, I mean, got to spend time with my kiddo. Life is good. Life is very good. Also, don't read the estrogen. <laughs> Wait, don't read it? <gasps> okay, I definitely will not. I sold them already. Very antiquated. Ugh. Morphine. That w Would that be useful to me or no? I guess I'm a vampire. I probably don't need that. I'll sell it. Car stereo. Very popular model car stereo that might be worth something to someone who asks few questions about its origin. <laughs> don't ask me how I got it. Thanks for coming back. What you need? Thanks for coming back. Do you sell a weapon? Um, no. Not, not really. Sorry. <gasps> oh my gosh, our first... Our first, what's it called? Seduction! That's awesome. I'm so glad you're having a good time. Yes! Yes! I am so glad. I'm very, like, consciously making time for streaming and stuff. It's my only hobby at the moment, and it's really, really fun. Oh, something I really want to do is set up my piano in here in this office space, because I do have room over there, and I would love to do more music streams at some point, because that was really fun when I did that a few months back. And I think there are some of you who enjoyed it too, and I miss singing and playing the piano, and that would be really fun. If y'all are into that, let me know. I'm into it, so I'll probably do it at some point, even though it makes me a little bit nervous to like, you know, sing in front of people. Um, I do really like entertaining people through through song. You know, I am a bard after all. So I'm, I really want to do that at some point too. It's on my, it's on my list, my mental list. Yeah, it's not like you know anyone in severe pain or- <gasps> Wait, can I give it to him? Wait, now I feel bad. Maybe I should try to buy a little bottle of morphine and bring it to, to what's his name? Mercurio. Did the kiddo watch Avatar? No, we watched it after he went to sleep, which I'm actually kind of glad because it was like pretty violent. That's one actually big change. Like obviously like it's a kid's show, the like animated one, even though you know, it has a lot of mature themes, especially as it goes on and it is suitable for children and adults. I think adults should watch it too. But this um, live action series, like, it, it's pretty dark at, at times. Like, there's more, like, intense violence than in, like, a cartoon, you know? So. Oh, Alpine, you were there for that stream? Aww. Thanks. It was disappointing. Yeah. I overall liked it. Um, just because I'm, like, an easy fan to please if you don't, you know. If you don't know me at this point, you'll get to know that I am an easy fan to please with things that I love. Like, I love the original so dearly, but I also love reimaginings of things that I love. So, and I know that that's not, that's not everyone's cup of tea. And there were definitely things that I think could have been done a lot better. But overall, I, I had fun when I was watching it. So that was fun. Start them on the anim animated one. Exactly, exactly. I have a whole list of the TV shows and movies that I need to, I need to make my kid watch it someday, very far in the future when they can actually, you know, understand and we can have dialogues about it and it'll be so fun. And I'm sure they'll make me watch a lot of shows that, you know, and just material reading movies, shows that, that they are excited about. So that'll be really fun. Ah. <sighs> I know. Why is it that so many things these days are like so heavy on the exposition? I'm like, what? Just show. I know. Totally. I feel you on that. Okay, guys, we're going to do our first seduction attempt. Ooh. Come on, cutie. Don't you want to show me your big guns? You know, you, you really don't seem the criminal type. I just want... Self-protection. You can trust me, honey. Well, okay. Hey, it's cool. I'm overstocked anyhow. Take a look and feel free to come back anytime. Thanks. Let's see what you have. Ha-ha! There we go.
Computers for Grandma. To begin, put the foot pedal on the desk and push the power button on the metal box. This is the house for your friend computer, Chip. The enchanted electronic pixie that can do 4.8 billion calculations per second. Wow, that's fast, Chip. Do you see an image on the magical computer window? Reading this will boost your computer knowledge. We should probably do this. Okay, we need more research skill. Stats increased, you guys! We found a tome of knowledge! Where is it? Where is it? <gasps> Got a computer skill! That's so cool! Oh my gosh, yes! Add the comics in, exactly! Totally! That would be cool. Yeah, it seems like it is hard to fit things into fewer episodes, Alpine. Totally. Oh my gosh, I know they're working on the animated movie. I don't know how to feel about it, guys. I, I do actually have quite a few problems with the original. Like, I love it with all my heart, but... I'm not a fan of some things that are canon. <laughs> if you know me well, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I have a lot of problems actually with like Katara in the original. With like, or with how she, her story went. I found it actually really disappointing. Um, and just like the, like, like female characters in general. And like lack of, oh, there's the asylum. Yeah, and like also, I, I really appreciate how Blood Bank, <laughs> I really, it was so cool to like actually have a show that has like Asian and like indigenous actors. Like there was no white actors in it. I was like, yes, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Toph, I love Toph. It's longer than the first season of the cartoon? No way. The theaters confirmed it's always going to have a beginning, middle, and end. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, I really, I really love the original, but I... I just, I love the, I love the characters and, like, the possibilities that exist there that, like, weren't all like necessarily explored. I, I was disappointed by how they turned out as adults, honestly, for a lot of the characters. Like finding out in Korra, like how things went down. I was like, oh, that's not exactly what I would have like hoped for them, you know? <gasps> yes, the new animated series. I'm just very excited for that. Oh, difficulty of nine. That's going to be tough. Hi. Oh my god, I'm terrified! You next up for the needle? Hmm? Your donation could save a life, you know. Oh, but isn't it a little late for altruism? I don't think you're here to give blood at all. I don't buy it, Betty. I bet you're here to take blood. Am I right? Oh my gosh. I overall really liked Korra, um, but it, to be fair, I don't really remember the series very well. I really need to rewatch it because I only watched it once um, and the original Avatar series I've watched a lot. So clearly I have a favorite. Um, but yeah, I need to rewatch Korra and give it a chance again. Princess Batman! It's so good to see you. How are you doing? Welcome in. I don't know what you're talking about. They all come in here with that same nonchalant look. With that, who, me, stare, as if they were so clever. Do you think you're the first vampire to try and come in here to buy blood? Honestly. What? All right, yeah, I'll buy some blood. How much? If you have to ask. Show me what you got. <laughs> $99? 
I'm sorry, what? Okay, fine, I'll get one. Gosh. Well, it definitely broke the masquerade there, but he already knew. Gets better as it goes on, yes. Aw. I'm glad you're doing well, Princess Batman. This game is really cool so far. I'm really liking it. Oh my gosh, is that the... This is the hospital. Oh my god, is this like a back entrance to everything? Oh, difficulty of two? Okay, we can do that. We gotta get more blood, though. Still in here? Oh my gosh. <gasps> She's gone! Red-headed girl is gone! Oh my gosh. That's wild! Okay, we need to feed real bad. There's so many areas to explore! This is so cool! Uh-oh. I'm just trying to go this way. Ah! There we go. Rats! Come to me, you delicious things! No shame. God, it'd be so annoying if we couldn't feed on them. Dang, this sewer actually is really nice. It's like pretty well kept. Skepters, hi! It's so good to see you! Redheaded girl's on the loose! Our ghoul friend ran away and took the kids! Oh no! <laughs> Right? This is the cleanest sewer I've ever seen. Like those- this is beautiful. <laughs> like what is happening here? I don't get it. Oh. Ooh. Surfside Diner. We wanted to go there. Foxy boxes. Ooh. The Asylum. Six. Okay, where are we? <laughs> I don't know you are here sign. Where's six? Oh, there. What access point was this? Access point F. Okay. Oh, over here. Wait, so... The asylum should be there. Did we just miss it? Oops. The asylum. Team Rocket Rats! Trouble and make it double. Oh, is it just here? The front door? Imagine that. Clan Nosferatu. <laughs> Oh my gosh! What do we have here? Hello! Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life and into my club. You smell new, little girl. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed astroturf. <laughs> oh, I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? <gasps> oh my gosh, look at this lady. The music here is great. Oh, I bet it's so good. Dang it. How, why, hello? <laughs> I know. When I'm playing it on my own, I'll definitely have the music on. Harley Quinn Vampire! Frightening isn't the word I'd use. Exciting is more like it. 
<laughs> I can tell you and I are going to get along just like fire hoses. Fire hoses? When we get turned on, there's bound to be flame. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. What's your name? I'm the finger down your spine when all the lights are out. I'm the name on all the men's room walls. When I pout, the whole world tries to make me smile. And everyone always wants to know who is that girl. Oh my gosh, people are dancing in the back. Okay. Aren't you the tease? Got a name I can remember you by? I am Jeanette. Jeanette! And this bit of chaos crammed in a certifiable giggle is my club. I just love to give you funny feelings all night, sweetheart, but I really must trouble with some business. We'll reunite Sweden soon, I promise. Soon can't be soon enough. Goodbye. Oh my gosh, Jeanette! Very good to meet you. She went up that elevator. Interesting. <gasps> Okay, well, I think this is a good place to end for the day. This was so fun. I just want to keep playing. Ah! Guys, look at all these characters for us to meet. We got to go do the shepherd shuffle out there. Oh, dress glitch. <laughs> that was awesome. This was so fun. Thank you all so much for being here for my first day of our new game. I had so much fun. Found our romance option indeed. Oh my gosh. Okay, y'all, thank you so much for being here for my first episode of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I'm so excited about our dear Malk and I can't wait to see what shenanigans she gets up to next week. Who else will she flirt with? Who else will she suck the blood from? <laughs> <laughs> Who else will she steal money from? <laughs> Who else will she turn into her ghoul friend? <laughs> this was so fun. And Malk hype. Yes, this is a Malk hype stream. Okay, I'll see you all next time. Take care of yourselves, okay? Okay, bye. Cheers. <laughs>